Hey and welcome to the daily Arsenal news show. Let's begin with our daily news. Arsenal are now very optimistic. William Saliba will sign a new contract soon. Arsenal are currently enjoying their best ever start to a Premier League season. Their 1-0 win over Chelsea on Sunday took Mikel Arteta's side back above Manchester City in the league. Speaking on his YouTube channel, Fabrizio Romano has provided an update on several of Arsenal's young stars. Arsenal are keen to extend the contracts of Saka and Martinelli, but their defense has also improved significantly. Gabriel Magalis signed a new deal last month and admitted he wants to stay at the club for a long time and he could be joined by William Saliba as Romano reports that Arsenal are very optimistic that he will sign a new contract too. Saliba's current deal runs out in 2024 and given his amazing form this season, he will have plenty of potential suitors. However, he is now really considering extending his stay at the Emirates, which would be a great news for Gunners fans. Romano provided an update on the 21-year-old Frenchman, saying, Speaking about contracts, I can tell you that for William Saliba, that there is a proposal on the table, and Saliba is really considering this proposal. There are conversations ongoing, Arsenal are really optimistic, but a decision is to go really strong on this new contract talks in the next weeks and months. If Arsenal can give new contracts to Saliba, Saka and Martinelli, then it would be as important to the club as the three new signings. Saliba was imperious against Chelsea, putting in a man of the match performance. His reintegration into the Arsenal first team after three long spells has been magnificent from Arteta. Gabriel Magalhães shares a cryptic message after being left out of Brazil's World Cup squad. Gabriel Magalhães has shared a cryptic message on social media in response to missing out on a spot in Brazil's 2022 World Cup squad. Tite has named his star-studded squad for the World Cup, picking the likes of Manchester United star Anthony and Newcastle United ace Bruno Guimarães, who both had emotional reactions to being selected. The Brazil boss also named Arsenal forward Gabriel Martinelli, with fans noticing Neymar's reaction to his inclusion in the squad. But there is no place for Liverpool forward Roberto Firmino and Martinelli's club colleague Gabriel Magalhães. Despite starring for the Gunners, Gabriel has been left out of the Tez World Cup squad. The 24-year-old took to social media to respond to his World Cup snub on Instagram. He reposted a message that read, I saw you grow up in football, brother. You are the pride of our neighborhood. Gabriel has played 18 games in all competitions this season, scoring two goals. His side currently sit at the top of the Premier League and have secured a spot in the next round of the Europa League. But he will watch his national team from home as he gets to rest ahead of resuming club football. Gabriel's teammate Martinelli, though, will head to Qatar and Tite has explained his decision to select the attacker after leaving him out of the squad for Brazil's September internationals. On selecting the 21-year-old, he said, We like Martinelli's aggressiveness. He is one of the top players at Arsenal, the first place team in the Premier League. He is good in one versus ones. He is very rapid in transitions, and he's been playing at a consistently good level. Brazil's World Cup squad also includes Richarlison, Gabriel Jesus, Lucas Paqueta, Casimero, Fabinho and Fred, among others. Chris Sutton says Arsenal's team is completely transformed when Gabriel Jesus starts. Chris Sutton says Gabriel Jesus has completely transformed Arsenal's attack since his summer arrival from Manchester City. Speaking on the BBC's Monday Night Club, Former England striker Sutton compared Jesus with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Aubameyang, of course, used to be Arsenal captain, but Mikel Arteta bombed him out on the last day of the January transfer window. He went to Barcelona and then to Chelsea, who Arsenal outclassed on Sunday in a 1-0 win where the contrast between him and Jesus was stark, he said on the 25-year-old. Arsenal would not be the same team without Jesus in it. Watching the Chelsea game at the weekend, Chelsea with Aubameyang up top, Arteta was courageous in letting him go. Jesus gets involved in build-up play, but Aubameyang doesn't. Jesus is everywhere. He starts the press. He works hard. 
You can see other players feeding off him, Saka likes him, and Odegaard likes him. Without him, Arsenal would be a totally different team. They cannot do without Gabriel Jesus. If he stays fit, they can run City close. Arteta inherited Aubameyang and Alexander Lacazette, neither of whom offer what Jesus does in terms of energy and being a constant menace to defense. Jesus has elevated Arsenal's midfield to a new level this season, even though he is going through a run of games without scoring right now. If he gets back on the goal trail, Arsenal can improve even more and he may well be a World Cup winner with Brazil by the end of the year. Barcelona makes Arsenal target Yuri Tielemans their main transfer objective. Barcelona is working hard to ensure they beat Arsenal to the signature of Leicester City midfielder Yuri Tielemans. The Belgian has become one of the best players in his position in the league, but he is out of contract at the end of this season. The Foxes have offered him an extension, but he is reluctant to sign it and continues to deliver fine performances for them. The former Monaco man has become Mikel Arteta's choice to bolster his midfield, but he is a wanted man. Vigaches reveals Barca is also keen on the midfielder. Xavi Hernandez wants to add the Belgian to his squad mostly because he will be a free agent at the end of the season. The Catalans have attracted some top talents to their squad recently, and they hope he chooses to join their star-studded squad. Also, Barca has appeal. We are the better performing team at the moment, which makes us attractive. We are also in the Premier League, a competition that Yelemans knows very well, which means he will not need much time to get used to it. Hopefully, we can offer a deal that is good enough to persuade him to move to the Emirates. Arsenal are very confident on signing of impressive midfielder in January. Arsenal are confident of signing Palmeiras midfielder Danilo in January, according to reports. Mikel Arteta and Edu have pretty much managed to get the transfer signings that they wanted this summer and are very happy with the squad that they currently have. However, adding a few more players to the side will improve their chances of getting back into the Champions League and adding another trophy to the cabinet, something that Arteta needs to keep his job this season. That has led to report in the media over the past few weeks that Arsenal are ready to offer Danilo close to £150,000 a week to make the move to the Emirates during the January transfer window. Palmeiras were confirmed as the champions of the Brazilian Serie A last week and the season will end next Sunday and that looks set to give Arsenal the chance to get a deal for Danilo over the line. Brazilian outlet Bola VIP claims a deal is getting a close between the two clubs. The Premier League leaders believe the transfer is in a good position to be finalized in January. Amid the speculation, Team Valkyrie has claimed the target's current employers could be open to holding discussions after failing to bag a place in the club World Cup, Vikery told Give Me Sport. It's more likely because they won the Copa Libertadores, South American's Champions League, in the last two years, but they went out in the semi-finals this year. Had they won it, they would have had the club World Cup in February, I think it is, and they wouldn't want to sell because that's their holy grail but now they are not in it, I think a sale is perhaps more likely. There are a lot of questions about whether or not Danilo will be able to cope with the English game, especially coming from Palmeiras. It's a massive step up, but Arsenal must have watched him a lot over the past few months, so there is obviously something about him that Edu really likes. Arsenal missed out on the player during the final days of the summer transfer window, but if they really want to sign the player, then they will get a deal done in the January window. Arsenal have lodged a transfer request to bring a 26.5 million pound midfielder Ibrahima Bamba to London. Arsenal have lodged a transfer request for Vitoria's defensive midfielder Ibrahim Abamba. The Gunners spent some serious money in the summer transfer window, adding some players to the side that have really improved their chances of getting back into the top four spots. But Mikel Arteta knows that he is lacking in squad depth and that means that he will need to delve into the transfer kitty and add some more players to the side that will give him the depth that he needs. And according to the Mirror, 
Mikel Arteta's side has requested to be kept up to date on the development and availability of the 20-year-old holding midfielder who is rated at around £26.5 million. The Gunners are said to be interested in signing Bamba in the future. However, with multiple bidders, including Atalanta and Villarreal, the Portuguese outfit may be tempted to strike a January deal with one of his other suitors, Arsenal, have been scouting the word for a player that they can bring in that will add depth to the squad and Bamba would do that. Arsenal do not need to sign players that will want to play every week. They need to sign stars that will give 100% whenever they are called upon. So for the money that is being talked about, he would be a very good signing for the Gunners and a man that would give Mikel Arteta some different options when they are needed. But it will be interesting to see just who Mikel Arteta actually brings in as the next couple of transfers could make or break their chances of a challenging for that Premier League title. Arsenal scouts were watching Cody Gagbo this weekend. Mikel Arteta couldn't have asked for a better start to the season for Arsenal, with the Gunners currently top of the Premier League. Arsenal could go into the World Cup break ahead of Manchester City, which would have been inconvincible in August. A report from 90 Minutes suggests Arteta is already looking towards strengthening his squad. Their recruitment over the summer was sensational, with Gabriel Jesus and Alexander Zinchenko already making a big impact. The likes of Fabio Vieira and Marquinhos also have a huge potential and have a bright future at Arsenal. The Gunners appear to be looking to strengthen their attacking options even more. The report from 90 Minutes suggests Arsenal sent scouts to the Netherlands this weekend to watch Cody Gagbo. Gagbo wasn't on the score sheet on this particular occasion, but is having a breakout season in the early vice. The Dutch international typically plays as a winger, but can also be used as a center forward if necessary. The imposing wide man already has 13 goal and 17 assists in all competitions this season. For context, Arsenal's top scorer and assister Gabriel Jesus has 5 goals and 6 assists. Gagbo's number have attracted interest from a number of parties in recent months. He was one of Leeds' main transfer targets in the summer, but his sights may now be set higher than Ilan Road. A report from Darmish Sheth suggests that Arsenal could make a move to sign Gagbo in January. The special winger could be available for just £30 million, which would be an absolute bargain. The report from 90 Minutes suggests Arsenal weren't the only Premier League team watching Gagbo at the weekend. If he has a good World Cup with the Netherlands, demand for the 23-year-old may increase even more. Arsenal may have to move sooner rather than later for Gagbo to secure his signature. Alexander Zinchenko has already recommended Mikhailo Modric to Mikel Arteta. He is open to joining Arsenal. Arsenal may be looking at the January transfer window as the perfect opportunity to make a few more additions to their squad. Their incredible start to the campaign may just attract a few players who wouldn't have previously considered a move to the Emirates. A report from 90 Minutes suggests that Arsenal may be looking from within the club to find their new recruits. Zinchenko has now made his voice heard among the Arsenal hierarchy as well after recommending they should sign winger Mikhailo Madrik. The report from 90 Minutes suggests that Zinchenko has given Madrik a glowing reference to Arsenal bosses. The unstoppable Shakhtar winger was one of the revelations of the Champions League this season. The 21-year-old left winger scored three goals and provided two assists as Shakhtar narrowly missed out on the knockout stages. He has also already recorded nine goal contribution in eight league game in Ukraine. Modric has already said that he would be open to joining Arsenal, saying he can't say no to a move. However, Arsenal are likely to face a lot of competition for Modric's signing. Shakhtar have also significantly increased Modric's asking price after his performances in Europe. Zinchenko's recommendation to sign Modric will give Arsenal some confidence that he is worth a large fee. The pair know each other well from their time playing together with the Ukrainian national team. That relationship could blossom further if they are both turning out at the Emirates every week. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.